morning, congregation. My name is Mosam Somi. I'm an African. I'm here to shame the devil. My testimony is about my, my first testimony is about my son. My son is working at, at the bank um, for so many years, but in, 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 in temporal basis. And then he worked, and then there's a certain time, I think it was three years ago, he left his job without saying anything, he resigned, running away from the job, resigned without telling anyone. Okay, I came to church every Thursday, praying, praying for him. Ah, and then the prophet located me one Thursday. He came straight to me and said to me, I'm a sin to her, my son will be fine, he'll get his job. Mm. And, then, and then he said he must, come to, he must come to church for prayers. And he, he's the one that doesn't believe in God, but that time he came to, he came to church and then the prophet prayed for him. After that, it was, I don't know what was happening, but it was a seminar, something like, and Prophet Prince was here. It was, Prophet told me on Thursday, and then Saturday, Prophet Prince told me the same, same prophecy about him. And then on Monday, I went and buy clothes for him, new clothes for work, because now I believe that truly he's going to get the job. I went and buy clothes for him, and then on Wednesday, he started working. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Okay, he started working again, but as a temp again. Because he went for an interview, but they didn't hire him. They had someone instead of him. But after that, when, after the prophecy of, of, of Prophet Prince, they phoned him and saying to him, ah, the, the people who were interviewing him said, they want the person that we interview, not the, not the person that is hired. Then he must come back, to, he must come back and work because it's his job. But it, it, he was still working as a, as a part-time part -time worker. Then I come again, praying for him, going to the mountain with his papers, with his documents, going to Messiland, going one-on-one -on -one to Prophet with his documents and everything. From there, last year, last year late, I started paying tithe for his permanent job. I started paying tithe, paying, paying tithe for him. And then this year early, he, he, okay, they said he must submit his CV. He did, but only his CV. They said they didn't see it. He wasn't hired and he didn't go for, for interview. Okay, I said, okay, it's fine. That's not your job. Your, your job is coming. And then this year, about five months ago, I asked him, so what's happening now? He said, don't worry, I'm going for interview again. Then he went for interview, uh, and, then, and then it was taking long, it was more than a week. Then I said to him, how? Now that's happening, he said, I'm still waiting. And then during the day, it was, uh, it was a service during the day. Then I was praying during the day with, with uh, LCP, praying and praying. Then I took his photo and then anointed his photo and then I said, today, before the end of this day, he's going to get this job permanently today by fire, by force. It, then the Mama, service, you are telling us that after anointing, your son did indeed get the job. Yes, I, yes, because I, the, service, uh, the service finished at five past one. Then by half past two, he sent me a message saying, I got the job, permanent job. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mama, please tell us, during that period where your son was not working, how did you feel as a mother when you saw your son not working? He was working, but not, not permanently because he was depressed also. Mama, and what encouraged you to anoint, I mean, what encouraged you to intercede for your son during the time? It's because I believe that that is his job. Amen. Okay. And then he said to me, same day after I got the permanent job, he said to me, you know what, let me, let me pay off your bond and buy you a brand new car. I said to him, you know what, you know that I'm saving for my, for, for my bond. When I, if you want to buy me a car, just buy me a car, not my bond, I'll, I'll pay for my house. And then he said, okay, it's fine. And then he said, okay, it was that. 
Then I keep on praying, praying. And then, okay, he applied for the, for the, for the car. He was, he was declined because, of his, because he was owing a credit card. And then they wanted a huge amount of money to, to clean his, his name. Then I paid that amount. I gave, him, I gave him the money. Then I asked him to ask for settlement later. Then he, so he got a settlement, then, but he didn't go and, and pay that money. But the last day he went there, but it was difficult because when he went to the bank with a catch in his hand, and then he said to me, his, his other money, he can't draw his other money from his account. His account is frozen. Then he said to me, you know what, could you please send me another money? Then I was trying to send him the money. The system, the, even the system was frozen on my side. It was frozen till I took the oil, anointing oil and anointed the phone. Then he said to me, no, you know what, I'm going out. I said, go. Instantly, I took, I, I took this anointing oil and anointed the phone. Then he went out. From there, after anointing, anointing the phone, then he told me that, you know what, I, I already paid now. Then he waited for, for 21 days to be cleared. Then he was cleared. And then he bought, oh, I said to him, you're going to buy me that car, provided me and you're going to pay it for, together, because I won't allow you to pay that car alone. Then, and because right now, I'm, a, I'm having a brand new car. Amen. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Mama, we thank God for blessing you with this beautiful car. Mama, could you please show us the keys? <laughs> Mama, we thank you for your wonderful testimony and we declare that it is permanent in Jesus' name. Mama, could you please share with us a word of advice? You know what? Um... My advice is, you must listen to the words from the prophet and believe. Then you'll get what you want from here. Amen. 